Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I got something a little different today. So on the 91 GT, and like most other Mustangs that are out there, most guys have put in aftermarket CD players. But for the sake of being original, I picked up a cassette deck for it. An OEM Ford cassette deck. But what stopped me from putting the console in the car and a few other items is the stereo wiring. Is Somebody obviously took the original harness, cut it, and spliced on the aftermarket CD player wiring um, back in the late 80s, early 90s. There might have been some of these wiring kits available to just plug into the factory wiring and then just right into the uh, aftermarket CD player. But, like I said, like most of them, the factory wiring gets cut and removed. So I talked to the good fellows down at Epic Audio in Yorkton, Saskatchewan, and they had this in stock. It's a uh, Metra brand, 71-1770. So it's a Metra brand. It's a wiring harness. Ford Lincoln Mercury 86 to 2004 and I have this I've had this for years this is such a such a useful book so you get to the uh, stereo components oh wow I bought this book in 2003 for $55 from a Ford dealership that was big money back then. Okay, radio without premium sound. So here's this plug, as you can see. It's got that little notch up there. So this yellow, that's gonna go to the factory light green and yellow. The second one isn't used. This yellow and black with a black tracer on the factory is gonna go to this red one. You see the yellow black 12 volt power feed and this even says and this one it's even labeled on here it says 12 volt ignition switch so that one we've got taken care of so here's our second one uh radio without premium sound speaker wires so this white one here orange and light green that's the left front speaker signal positive. Left front. Yeah, that says left front. Left front positive. Look at that. That's These guys are really on, on their game. So another cool thing happened. So about two videos ago, I did a video on Fox Body and SN95 prices. And on the thumbnail, it shows a red 87 Mustang GT with scallops on it. And the coolest thing happened about a week after I posted the video, a good buddy of mine, Shane, he messages me and says, Hey man, that was my car. I owned that car. And I remember him telling me about a car like that, but he owned it about four or five years before I ever met him. He bought this car in the mid nineties, like 94, 95. And he ended up trading it uh, with another fella, I believe straight across for a Thunderbird. And he actually still had the receipt for the, the deal where they traded straight across. He had the VIN number on there and, and the details of the deal. And uh, I think he got the car in, you know, something like August 8th or something of 1995, whatever the date was. But he says, my God, that was my car. He says, now I want to find it. Like, it just be kind of neat to know where it is and what it looks like and everything else. So on... Uh, Facebook, he put a post on, uh, I think it was either Western Fox Body Canada. Anyways, the one of the previous owners that uh, had the car sent Shane a picture of it when it was red with scallops and it was uh, been repainted blue. And I think the the current owner even sent him some video of it. It's cammed up and it sounds really healthy. And I just think it's so cool that knowing that that's the sh car that Shane once owned and he knows where it is now, so maybe someday he'll get to visit it again. So that's just 
such a cool car story and it's nice how the fox body community comes together to help a guy find his car and that made me feel really good but uh just had to share that with you guys and back to the video i opened up the car here we're just going to confirm our wiring so i think this green plug i think that's for use with a uh like a factory amplifier i believe these are the speaker wires and i think this is a part of our uh power wires and stuff like that so i'm gonna i'm gonna match up these guys with whatever i need to match up here we'll see if we can make it work okay we got the uh wires soldered on i'll give you guys a quick look i got some, got some shrink wrap on there and i'm gonna wrap this harness up with some hockey tape which is like a cloth like uh electrical tape so this is for the speaker wires and then we're going to go over and we're going to hook these guys up this is for the power and the ground etc for the uh, radio once i get that done we could uh plug in the stereo and see if she's going to crank out some tunes so we're halfway there all right i got the wiring all buttoned up it's looking a lot better i don't even know if this cassette player is going to work but here we go let's just uh, plug it in oh. FM let's see if I can tune this puppy go to the local uh, FM station yeah. are you serious Oh my god, I couldn't have timed that any better. I gotta do a quick explanation of my little backstory on why I got so excited in the car when when uh, I thought Vanilla Ice started playing, or it ended up being Queen under pressure. I was looking at all my cassettes. When I started to do the video, I wanted to have Ice Ice Baby. I wanted to have the Ice Ice Baby. I got a cassette single in the glove compartment. I wanted to have it ready and I couldn't find the cassette. And I was probably looking for it for like 15 minutes because I had it here. I had a few cassette singles here and that was one of them. So when Queen started, I thought it was Vanilla Ice. And I thought, oh my God, how could that be possible that it starts playing when I just go to our, our FM station and there it was. Sure, it wasn't Vanilla Ice, but it was the next closest thing to replicate our uh, Vanilla Ice song. So anyways, that's why I got a little excited when Under Pressure started playing because I thought it was Vanilla Ice, so. This is the local FM station. I just, back in Grenfell in the 90s, I had a house party and I used to play a lot of records and I played some Queen. I played Under Pressure and when it started up, all the kids are pretty happy that I was playing Vanilla Ice, but when when Freddie Mercury started singing, they said, hey, who's copying Vanilla Ice? So I totally thought it was Vanilla Ice at first when I uh, flipped it over to the Fox FM. It kind of just blew me away. So there's my backstory, and because of that, it reminded me of a house party story, how I played Queen and all the kids they thought it was Vanilla Ice and that somebody was copying them because of the way Under Pressure starts. So if you're in your 40s or 50s, you'll understand. If you're younger, you might not. So go watch Ice Ice Baby and go listen to Under Pressure by Queen and you'll totally get it. So I got Tone Loke here, so let's see if it works. It's trying. There we go. We got cassette action too. At least I know my wiring's working. At least I know I got this wiring cleaned up. It was kind of a mess and I can uh, probably hook up the council pretty soon. 
So guys, with all the wiring on the stereo on the 92, I kind of learned something. I'll just flip the camera around and give you a quick demo. So here's those pigtails I spliced in to the uh, stereo wiring. And they kind of went up, let's see, right up into this area. And they kind of, the wiring kind of came down like this. And there was two plugs facing kind of down right up in here. Well, because of that, I'll try and explain myself a little better. I learned that this car had the premium sound from the factory. So what I ended up doing was the where the plugs plugged in up here, I unplugged them and I was left with this factory dash wiring harness that goes straight into the cassette player. So actually I didn't have to splice those in. And, and being a GT, I'm not surprised that it has a premium sound. So I'm gonna see what it takes to take that wiring out. I'll be left with the OEM wiring, which every other LX or base model or car without actually premium sound would have. So I kind of learned something about the wiring. I could have, uh, Saved myself $15, which isn't a big deal. I learned a lot from doing this, and that's the most important thing. So here we are in our early 50s, and we're still learning about these cars. So that's what keeps it interesting. I got some uh, new-ish speakers for the doors. A friend of mine was gracious enough to give me a smoking deal on them. So I think we're going to freshen up the speakers, because even with the cassette player... I think we still want to have some fresh speakers. Like, let's face it, the cassette player isn't going to sound as good as a CD. But if I ever want to upgrade the head unit, that's really easy to do. And the speakers are already going to be in place. So I'm just going to pick up some back speakers. The back speakers for these cars are 5 by 7 inch. So I'm going to get something that bolts right in. Thanks for coming in, thanks for hanging out, and thanks for watching me work on the Mustang. Uh, have a great night. I'm heading in, it's supper time.